sufficient for us in Allah, and He is the best disposer of affairs. Quran chapter 3, Aya 173. When Prophet Abraham was about to be thrown into the fire by his community, he recited this dua, and Allah made the fire cool and turned it into a garden for him. The fire did not harm Prophet Abraham at all. This special dua was also recited by Prophet Muhammad and his companions when armies came together to attack them. People came to Prophet Muhammad and his companions, peace be upon them, and told them that armies have gathered and are on their way to attack them, and that they should be scared and watch out. There were very few Muslims compared to the armies that were on their way to attack them, but the Muslims recited this dua, and their faith increased and remained firm. With this dua you acknowledge, remind yourself, and affirm that Allah is aware of what is going on with your situation, whatever it may be. You realize He cares about you, and He is enough for you. You acknowledge that everyone, including yourself, depends on Allah, and Allah does not depend on anyone. You remind yourself that no one can help you the way Allah can, because Allah is the only one that is all power and is in control of everything. You recognize that Allah is all you need for protection, support, and help. You acknowledge that Allah is the one you can trust and depend on, who will never let you down. You can say this dua whenever you are feeling desperate, scared, sad, confused, or need something from Allah, whatever it may be.